Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jannah. I don't really follow football much, you guys probably know more than me, but there's this player called Muhammad Salah. If there was any name that could give the most dawah, it's this name mate. It's got Muhammad in it and it's got Salah in it. Apparently Muhammad Salah has been causing a big storm mate. And Salah, of course. For me, he's as good a bet for player of the year as anybody. I think he's been sensational Salah. Mm -hmm. Excellent finishing yet again from Mo Salah, just how important is he? Yeah, I mean, he keeps doing it, running out of words to describe him, obviously he's been top class for us, it's important he keeps doing that. But... Salah vem, vem, vem muito bem, é um grande jogador, né, e acho que pode fazer diferença também na Copa do Mundo. Now he's moved to Liverpool and he's just scoring goals non-stop. But the fact that people are so excited about him and him being a Muslim who's practicing is amazing. I think we can learn a lot from Muhammad Salah and here are a few points that I think we meaning you and me not the we like in the toilet because that's disgusting. Us can learn from that mate yeah. Number one, let your success talk. A lot of us complain. Oh I'm a Muslim, I got a beard. Oh my name is Muhammad, I'm not gonna be successful. And this whole negativity pushes you down because when you're negative, what happens is you start giving up. When opportunities do come along, because of your negativity, you don't grab those opportunities. So it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. But when you're positive, when something does come along, you're gonna grab it. And when you grab it, it's gonna push you forward. Two, win people's respect rather than begging for it. This guy couldn't even speak proper English mate. These Liverpool fans didn't really care about that. He had a beard, curly hair, like it was all going wrong for him. But when he started outpacing people He won people's respect. He didn't ask for it. And number three, anytime he scores a goal, the amount of time that he's done sajda, he's been caught doing duha on the pitch, guys, on the pitch. What do we learn from this? Remember Allah in times of prosperity, and Allah will remember you in times of distress. Number four, confidence in your identity will inspire others. Now this guy didn't change himself based upon where he was. He stood by his Islamic identity and his cultural Egyptian identity and guys he's now inspiring other people. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Muhammad Salah wa Dumu'ah, Muhammad Salah, Muhammad Salah, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb Ya Salah. Muhammad Salah, Muhammad Salah, Wapa, Allah, 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 Ya Blazza, Allah, Allah, Ya Blazza, Allah, Allah, Ya Blazza, Allah. And number five, your belief does not hold you back, rather, it gives you an edge. And with Muhammad Salah, his belief is propelling him forward. He's got talent and he's using his belief to propel it forward. Obviously if you're talentless guys then I mean you need to you know take time to build that talent yeah build that talent and don't just blame people around you or another scapegoat which is your religion. So guys remember Muhammad Salah in your dua, mashallah he's doing excellent excellent work and he's an inspiration to millions. Be happy with his success and inshallah try to promote Islam in other fields rather than just expecting people to just 
you know, accept Islam because you hand them a free Quran or just because you can talk really well. Guys, people want to see Islam. They've heard plenty about Islam. They've heard plenty. They now want to see it. So may Allah make you and I such that we become an embodiment of Islam rather than a deterrent for people to accept Islam. It doesn't matter if you and I can't speak properly, no problem. Just let your actions do all the talking. From knowing him and seeing our reaction, I like seeing players who score week in, week out. And you know, he's not doing the interviews after the game. Maybe he's a bit shy, but I like the humility in him as well. How you conduct yourself outside, how you address other people. And mashallah, Muhammad Salah, you see him smiling. You see him giving his t-shirt to, to little kids. Mashallah, amazing inspiration. And uh, yeah, may Allah grant him more success and more strength. Till next time, guys. Assalamu alaikum.